that annoyed me because Dumbledore was the, like one of the biggest, most relatable characters in besides Harry and Hermione and and and, and Hagrid and stuff. And and his funeral was very cheaply made, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just the only one that thinks that. I don't know, but it it kind of it annoyed me the fact that it, it wasn't as good as what the book was. Uh, the only time I had an attack was when I was locked in my grandparents' basement and my brother and I uh, were shot in the foot. And I was shot in the foot. Wow! Oh, that's horrible, mate. That is horrible. Yeah, it's... Uh, mental health, it, it, isn't, it isn't funny. And it needs to be recognised more, to be honest with you. It really does. Uh, I just chalked it up to them having to confront the time constraints of the movie. You well, yeah, but the thing is, is that we had loads of films from them, you know. And and I don't see as I don't see as how you could miss out like pivotal points. My stepbrother did. Wow. Ah. Uh, yeah, you can choose your friends, you can't choose your family, right? <laughs> There's that. <laughs> See, this is this this is what I enjoy. Stuff like this. Like you're not just you're not just viewers to me. You're not just a, a number on my list. I love to get to know you all. I, I, I just I would like you to understand something though that i do suffer with anxiety and depression and stuff and i am on a lot of uh, medication so please don't get offended if i don't remember your name eventually it will sink into my brain and i'll never forget you right and i'll make a big fuss when you come in to, to see us and and what have you but please don't ever get like like uh, annoyed the fact that i may have forgotten your name because I do also speak to quite a lot of people on here. They come in and out and stuff. And I try and remember as much as possible. So that's the only thing that I actually do ask from you all. Um, what's this? I was probably 19. Step profit. He was like 15 older than me. I think he actually. Oh, really? Oh, bloody hell. But yeah, this is what I like. I love getting to know people, listening to your stories. I love to see, like, you know, what, what kind of things you guys do in your downtime. You know, if you've got any art pictures, if you do, like, figurines and stuff, if you do paint by numbers like I do, or you read books or you watch films, you know, just put it in the Discord. Share it. Because, uh, you know, there's been a lot of times in my life that I've never tried to do something because I never really knew it would be fun. And I never really see the appeal of it and now that i've opened myself up to to um trying new things and getting involved with new things all the time now i just i'm always looking for something else you know and and it's kind of just nice to just share a bit you know if you're not into that that's absolutely fine you know it is what it is uh what's this uh and then there's those of us who have gotten ourselves stuck in his brain and now can't forget us. <laughs> no matter how hard he tries, yes, you do. You live rent free. <laughs> One was a cop. I don't care about him just because he was a bad person. He went to jail for hitting three people. Was a cop. Yeah, some people, you know something, right? Some people do just like to watch the world burn. Yes, that is a quote from Bam, but it's very true. And I, I kind of pity some people that are intrinsically bad people, right? Because nobody starts off as a bad person, right? N nobody does. It's like nobody starts off as being racist. Nobody starts off as being a homophobe, you know? Um, it's all stuff that's taught and culturally done, you know? Um I don't know, it, it, it's, it, but we all have a choice. That's that's the problem, right? When it comes to sympathising with people, they had a choice to do that. I grew up in the same environment as other people did, and I don't walk around as as a homophobe, and I, I don't spread hatred to people. You know, 
what do you mean was heavy? <laughs> what's what's all this was business? <laughs> um, uh, what's it? And he said, "Good morning every few weeks." I'm an orphan because I have no parents. Technically speaking, I guess you could say that I'm an orphan now because both my parents have have, have died now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Are we nearly there yet? We're almost filling this tray, right? See, I like doing this every now and again. Like, it can't all just be the the full tilt stuff, you know, like the driving, racing, and whatever else. Sometimes you just have to sit back and chop some wood. And these are the times that I enjoy. Like I said, because I get to know you guys, I get to focus on chat more. And I, I, I get to hear more about you all. And your step your stepmom was actually terrible. See, that's so horrible. I, I I didn't have the best childhood myself. My my dad was a... Yeah, he was a special guy. <laughs> but you know what? You learn by your parents' mistakes. And you just make sure... That you spend your life being better person and that's all you can do actually it was like harry potter yeah that's 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 not nice he lived under the stairs he certainly did he did and he had dudley as a stepbrother oh, i swear to god if i was harry i would have knocked him the f out <laughs> <laughs> Not that I condone violence in any way, shape, or form. Uh, let's put you there. Right. Let us grab this. Should we come up there? It's firewood. Except he was 15 years old. Yeah, so you were pretty stuffed. Can't match him strength. Yeah. That's usually where cowards like to sit when they know they've got the upper upper hand on you. We have to wait until the wood stops going up. And then we've chopped enough wood. I mean, we don't earn huge amounts of money out of this, but we at least earn some. And I still have to do the strawberry picking job. Uh, one fan theory suggests that Harry Potter actually imagined it all. Or dreaming all events with Hogwarts. Yeah, I could imagine. I could imagine. It's this is this is another reason why I like fantasy stuff, fantasy films, and everything else. And honestly, I I, I do like. I'm a huge superhero fan, like a massive superhero fan. Um, so much so, and I don't know if you can ever see this, but so much so, like on my arm here, I have I have a, a sleeve of just superhero emblems on them. And um, yeah, I've got tattoo. I've got l my whole desk is like anything I could pick up here has a superhero on it. Like my phone holders, Spider Man. You know, yeah. My 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 cup has Iron Man on it. <laughs> what else have I got? Here? I'm also a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, yeah. My my cup that I drink port out of is my Hogwarts cup, oh, my Harry Potter one. Come up. Yes, I have. I love the boys. That's brilliant. I really like that. Seen all seasons. All right. Another cup. <laughs> and I'm I'm 40. I'm 47 years of age. And I still like it. Because I don't care what people think about me. I mean, look at my t-shirt. It's <laughs> it's superhero. That's another thing. Don't care about what people think about you. It's there's no point. You're you're never gonna please all the people all the time. The way I look at it is, is just look after those who look after you. Be a good friend to somebody. You know. Be there through the bad times and the good times. But also make sure you don't get taken advantage of. Because there are plenty of people in this world that want to do that. 
and unfortunately there's no guidebook to tell you what they look like and who they are you just gotta you just gotta find out for yourself Christ this is like gaming my granddad isn't it <laughs> people think about me yes they do I think about you I think how much how much I I I, I love the fact that you introduced me to this game that I've owned for ages. I think about all the times that I've been incredibly frustrated with this game. <laughs> also, just on the the anxiety and depression thing again, because I'm because I'm I'm a sufferer of it. Um, I, I try and give as many tips as what made me feel better to everybody else. You know the times when you don't want to talk to anybody and you just want to sit in your room and do nothing just stare into blankness and and just let the day roll on so you can get on to the next day call someone call someone you trust and call someone you like and just talk to them you don't have to go on about what's wrong with you but just talk to them because depression and anxiety love solitude it wants you to be alone don't allow it I know you was being facetious. You said you don't care what people think about you. I was just saying that I'm stoked that people think about me at all. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to try this bit of wood. Is this going to be enough to... Come on, be enough. It's not, is it? Bugger me. Uh, I've been there. It's, it's tough. It really is. It really is tough. And, and and you know what? It wants you to be on your own. It wants you to sit in your bedroom alone. It wants you to not talk to your friends and family. You know, because it, it, it's it's your body's natural defense at trying to keep you safe. And at this present moment in time, when you have anxiety and depression, your body is in fight and flight. And it wants you to be safe. And it knows that you're going to be safe on your own. And if you think about it, to a certain extent you are going to be safe on your own because no one's there to hurt you but it also isn't safe and it isn't good for you uh a rule breaking doorknob hey uh did the save file i sent you work yesterday oh uh, mate i'm so sorry i didn't get anywhere near it when i come off last night i did a couple of rounds on um on the uh, wreck fest because i promised my friends i'd come on there and play um and then i edited yesterday's videos that took me up to half past one this morning and then this morning i woke up and i've had a shower and i spent some time with the missus and then i i just come on here and started streaming so i haven't had a chance yet but i i will check you i swear it i i will check it and see if it works can you not you're not gonna get off of there all right buddy I had such a good day on the long drive. I tell you, I couldn't if you paid me a million pounds. I could not do those that parking from doing 300 mile an hour. And, and it, do you know what? It, it does. It almost looks like it was all staged, but it weren't. But when I was when I was driving down that hill, like at 300 mile an hour, as I stopped, I was like, and then I literally immediately went smug face like her glove, like it was all planned. <laughs> Even I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, sis, uh, I get hella anxious at the end of the day, but I've stuck. Okay, do you take strong life CBD? Because I've been doing it just recently and i don't know how i don't know what the the uh the the terms and conditions are on youtube right or twitch for that matter of when it comes to advertising stuff so i haven't actually put it up i mean i've said the name but i haven't put anything up but that has helped me i take a different company yeah the, but it's helped me so much like more than any antidepressant than anything it's helped me so and i can sleep now i'm getting a night's sleep and i'm still a little bit tired during the day but i'm nowhere near as tired as what i used to be and and um, yeah of course it's a bit expensive 
well, a bit expensive. It is expensive. But then when you consider what goes into it, is this full up yet? My life. This is the biggest all of wood I think I've ever done. Yes, we're there. It's finally full. Oh, and not too soon. Uh, get gas station. I've got gas station simulator. I love it. I played it and completed the entire content when it first came out. And now there's been, I believe there's been like three or four updates since I played it last. But yes, that is coming here. And when I do my playthrough of that, I'm going to do something that I don't do, right? I don't just give away stuff for people to come in and, um, uh, what's it, and, and, and to view me because they're going to get something for free. But I am going to be doing a giveaway for um, Gas Station Simulator and a couple of other games. So the people that have been in here for ages and that have supported me and followed me and liked me on my socials, liked my videos and whatever else, just to say thank you. But yeah, I am going to be doing that. It's going to be a while down the road because I've got a few. I've, I have I have too many games on the pot right now. Right. I, 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 I've set myself a bit of an insurmountable task to to um, do my content that I do every day to up the amount of uploads that I do to YouTube um, and and everything. I've kind of overextended myself and it's because I have too much time on my hands. But I'm just trying to work it out now about the best way of doing it. Now, we've got stress and hunger. Right, we're going to go and deliver this wood, I think. We can get around that. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, gorgeous? Lovely to see you in here. Ah, oh, the main man here to make it. My day, Albert. Awesome to have you in here. Thank you so much for coming back. I'd look forward to you all coming in. You know I do. Spent all day today in Robot Rumble 2 making a stupidly overpowered robot that looks like an excavator. That sounds cool. Oh, do you know what I was thinking of getting? I was going to get that Stormworks because that looks really complicated. I was talking with my mate about it the other night. I'm considering it. because I, But then it get, with me, I want so many games. Like I want to get Wreckfest for the PC. I want to get Stormworks. I, 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 I want them all, but then it's like having the time to play them. And I need to get better at, at game playing so I can get through things a little bit faster. <laughs> I mean, most of you know how useless my game playing is. And if you don't, stick around. <laughs> it's not going to be long before you find out. Yeah, I, 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 I it, it strikes me as a really fun game, to be perfectly honest. And, uh, and complicated. You know, I, I like the whole engine and machinery stuff that you could. There we go. Right, we've got it. Contraband police. Right, it's the only one so far I haven't liked the look of. Right, I was watching a couple of other YouTubers that I I, I watch, and if you don't know him, I'm, I'm he doesn't need a shout out from me. He's too big, but I'm gonna do it anyway in case you don't. His name's Co Carnage. Right such a lovely lovely guy um if you've never seen his channel i highly recommend you 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 um you saying hello to him and, and following him he's fantastic but he plays everything he's basically um who i've modeled myself and what i do off of because i love the way he does stuff but he was playing it where are we going we're going to the uh to drop the wood off and then i was going to come back Because I just fancy driving for a minute. Uh, you might enjoy Robot Rumble 2. It's currently free. Oh, free on the Discord. It's basically Robot Wars, but... Oh, hello. Okay. I'll take a look at that. Border police should be updated uh, to not lose inventory and fe um, feed animals after safe. Oh, okay. Uh, did you save before you left just to get... Some Wait, I of course I did. Everybody knows how good I am at saving and remember. Can you see how red I've gone? Because I know I haven't done it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, 
nothing <laughs> is going to go wrong. That's actually a good point. Yeah, let, I, I tell you what I'll do. I'll put this in high gear. Because that, that's just about what I was going to Oh dear. Uh, see, this is one of the real reasons why I'm just dreaming because I'm so bloody useless. I forget half of this stuff. This is how bad my memory is, right? I actually had to buy myself a whiteboard so I could write stuff down to remember to do it. It's all all get I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried. Uh, I have to do that too. Always forget. Yeah. There's, there was no. There was. There was no point there where we were out of control. It was all planned uh, in advance for your entertainment. Bet that save game sounds, sounds pretty good about it. It's in here. Just do exclamation mark save the game. <laughs> See, I give an interactive stream. I mean that suggestion. Uh, the game can also save dead. After you almost ended yourself against the tree. Yeah, yeah, no, see, see, I that's what I wanted you to think that was going to happen. It really wasn't. I'm, I'm a trained professional. Normal robots in that game weigh about 50 to 100 kilograms. The one I built weighs 2,500 and swings an entire beam around at 700 RPM. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you're gonna get a whack off of it. Yeah, no, it's, I'm a I'm a highly trained professional pit bull, as you well know. Um, and I, I do many things for comedic value, and uh, and just to show you what not to do. That 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 that's the point of my streams. This is a tutorial on not what to do, <laughs> what not to do even. I've got to be honest. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, oh, no, no, <laughs> I'm going to die again. But no, I didn't. I, I, do you know, I'm actually thinking we should just have the uh, the the crash helmet on the whole time. I think that would probably save my life a bit more. So, how is everyone doing today? Have you all got plans? Are you all doing stuff? Has anybody got anything on the horizon that's exciting coming up? Anybody got any holidays coming up? Oh, anybody not driving into a tree? That would be nice. My summer car needs a giant bubble that encases your entire body. Yes, and I guarantee you I'd still find a way to die. Lesson one, Rusko is dead machine. Uh, the Volga uh, doesn't have seatbelts. Oh, okay, is it the death machine? What's the the Rusko? Oh, are these the cars in this? Oh, we haven't got that yet. That's the one that you get from the poker game, if I'm right. And we need a screwdriver with us, I believe. He hasn't learned about the Rusko yet. Yeah, because I'm hoping to be able to poker or stolen. Okay. Yeah, because what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to get that car and then I was going to park that car near the um near the graveyard and then any time that i die in future is this this is the wood guy right 
any time that I die in future, that's not really going to happen. This is the wood guy. Yeah, it is. Right, okay. No. Um, you don't need the screwdriver if you win it. Oh, okay. All right, that's cool. So we'll go here, and then we shall reverse her in. Look at this. Look, look, look. You just, I'm just a professional. It's just professionalism at its best. We, look at that. Spin her around. It's, it's just like it's just like a dance of of just awesomeness, right? Come on, girl. Oh, bugger me. I was going the right way to start off with. All right. Okay. Go there. Go that way. Straighten her up. Come on, girl. You know you want to. Look at that. We're getting there. And then I did that all on purpose because I just wanted to see. I wanted to show you what happens when you do turn it the wrong way. Right? Um. What guy isn't there? Oh, is he not? Where's he gone then? Um, I didn't spin round quick enough. Oh, we might have got away with that. Come on, back you go. I think that that should do it. Can you, like, stay there, please? So I don't want to leave the handbrake off, because... Right. I mean, a blind man would like to see it, right? That would work there, wouldn't it? Wait to call... Uh, wait... Right, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. So we'll unhook there, detach that. Lovely. 